I'm sure you guys are gonna wanna know how it turns right from the rip and uh, that's about it. It's about all the turning you get out of it. Not very much, but by the end of the video, you'll know why we have these. All righty, boys and girls. Well, as you can tell, you'll see where we're at in a minute. But I just wanted to go ahead and touch base a little bit with you guys and just say this is nothing to be flashy about. It's not kind of blingy. It's not, you know, anything but a goal that I had set. So I had set this goal probably I'm slamming this really, really hard. We'll knock that camera off my bay door. Maybe. <laughs> but this is a goal that I had set. Huge shout out to Andy Gallup for the race, and you'll see him in the video to come. Listen, Steve and goals. It's kind of like honey and water. It just don't go together. They guys. don't mix. Yeah. It just doesn't mix. No matter how hard you try, you think it might, but it's eventually gonna. Yeah. They're gonna be like it's oil and water, you dipshit. Yeah. <laughs> but what I basically am trying to say here is I stirred that oil and I stirred that honey to build what we're building today. So it's not an overnight thing. I know a lot of people said, "Oh, well, you could have built this years ago," and I probably could have. But this is basically kind of. I don't want to say a dream truck, but this is a dream truck, a dream build that we're going to do here. And uh, I'm thankful to be able to do it right now. Um, I know my health isn't in the greatest uh, uh, spots, but it is what it is. This is finally a dream come true, per se, and uh, I can't be more excited to share it with you guys. So without, with, or with that being said, go ahead and I'll roll the footage, and then I'll pick back up here in a little bit. Also, thanks for you guys' support, because I couldn't do this without you guys. You can tell we uh, got the new truck, we've been enjoying it. Um, but today we did kind of like a gigantic uh, shop cleanup. And I know it kind of looks still kind of clustered, but I had mud absolutely everywhere from the Jeep and the F-350, which is no longer with us. I had that everywhere, so I wanted to sweep up. Um, we've been cleaning all day long. I know you guys have noticed the, uh, the riffraff that has been floating around, but there's nothing I can do because I had just too many projects going on at once and I, I didn't have time to finish anything. So as you can tell, I'm starting to weed out a bunch of things. Um, I wanna go ahead and just be able to start fresh. The things that we have are the things that are going to stay and uh, we're not gonna be adding anything crazy. We're gonna finish up some of our projects, right? <laughs> but huge shout out to my kids. They actually came in today and uh, helped me knock all this out. We've got this room completely organized. Um, I'm sure you guys seen when I sprayed the, uh, the parts in here. It was a complete and total disaster, but now we have the boxes on shelves. We have Jeep parts up here. We have a camper part, which I don't even have any campers right now. Um, we got mirrors for Jeeps and just everything in stock. We have a build that's going on right here. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's actually at the body shop or on its way to the body shop by the time you guys see this. Um, but we've got a cool build going there and then we just have our stuff going on. But huge shout out to my kids, Sarah, Mo, Riley for helping out today. And uh, we made some pretty good headway. Looks so much better. They're not very talkative today. This daylight savings really has me like in a mess. It is literally only five o'clock and it is pitch black outside. And uh, we actually are doing a little something today for the Yukon. So we're using the Yukon, the new Yukon. And uh, I'm actually sort of excited about it. So good morning, guys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. Unless it's afternoon, then good afternoon, guys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys don't know me, I am Zenit Steve. And uh, today, we're uh, making some headway on our Denali build. So as you can tell back here again, like I said, we do have a set of 24-inch tires that we are going to toss on this thing. Um, I've had these at the shop. I bought them used off of Standout Specialties, which is actually has my wheels already. Um, bought a set of wheels off of marketplace and now i bought these tires off of them so now i'm finally to put the combo together and that's where we're heading so if you guys don't know standout specialties definitely check them out on instagram and all sorts of uh, social media uh, also check me out on instagram senate underscore steve as i post there more frequently than on youtube um, but without further ado we are driving down through we are actually only about 15 minutes from standout specialties we're going to jump in there and uh, get these wheels and tires mounted I didn't release the wheels to you guys yet, but we did buy a set of wheels. I think if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should now, because uh, I did post about the wheels a couple days ago. So you kind of have a little idea ahead of time of what we're planning on. And uh, also, we are jumping on board with Rough Country, and we are doing a seven inch lift kit for this thing. 
So I'm freaking excited. I'm flipping ready. I just, I've always wanted this body style. I finally have it. Let's start working on it. So without further ado, I will see you guys at Standout Special. Our buddy Andy Diablo Formula Racing had needs a ride. He's dropping a truck off that he worked on to get an alignment. And uh, I told him I was actually passing through, so it's actually kind of convenient for me um, to stop and pick him up. So I'm on the way through. Um, we've got two minutes until we're there. And uh, I kind of, you guys know me, I'm a little bit of a jokester. So what I did was I grabbed Mo's car seat and sat on the seat, and I'm going to make him sit in it. <laughs> Really? Really, dude? <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, Andy. You know what? I'm going to get, get a ride with my customers. Today. <laughs> oh, what is, my God. What is this shit? That's my healthy drink. That is not healthy. That looks like diarrhea. Healthy drinks. Oh, I got him, guys. My Coke Pro just turned. It does that. Mine shut this. It's recording right now. Yeah, yeah like, that's weird. <laughs> going to be an out clip or uh at the very end of the video but we are back here and obviously you guys can tell this is not my shop but we are at andy diablo formula racing shop um since i picked him up he was like hey why well, drive the whole way to your shop when you come over to mine and just get the wheels tossed on so that's what we're going to do today i'm going to go ahead and uh see if these things are going to fit um, they are a tad bit taller. I think these measure out to like 32s. The tires that we got on here are 35s, but you'll understand why we went 35s um, by the end of this video, because we are gonna talk about the lift kit that we plan on doing to install on this truck. So without further ado, we're gonna get this thing on jack stands, get it unloaded, and uh, we're gonna throw some 24 by 14s on this. I'm actually pretty excited because my other Yukon actually has 24 by 14s as well. So we're just gonna be 25, 24 by 14 did up. And yes, I gotta fix that too. The rear hatch does not work. I mean, it works, but the lift motor doesn't work. We are gonna see our guys over at Top Line Racer. They actually have a parts Denali that we're gonna stop and grab parts for. Holy cow, that's heavy. I don't think I actually did a full release on the wheels yet. Bam! They're dirty. We're gonna stop it and stuff to clean it too. Bam! Steve's polishing up my new wheels for my new Denali! Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel. <laughs> if you guys are new to the channel, I am Diablo Formula Racing, and this is Senate Steve. <laughs> Yeah, just picked up a hot ride, guys. Look at this. Woo! 27s on 47 wide rims. <laughs> Say that this thing came out absolutely outstanding is an understatement. You guys are going to see me pull it out here in a minute and you'll get a full big reveal of the wheels. But man, oh day, this is literally, I don't want to say a dream come true, like I said in the beginning, but a dream come true to do a build like this. Um, I've always wanted to. I just never really cared to do anything super clean because I'm not really a clean person. I'm kind of a dirt ball. Like if you guys have met me, I'm kind of a little bit of a dirt ball. So for me to keep this clean is going to be hard, but it is going to be something that we're going to do. So without further ado, start.
Welp. 100 point turns, here we come. Oh, they already rub. They definitely already rub. But don't worry, guys. Uh, by the time we get where we're going, I'll have basically the lift kit at the shop. Um, I did this because obviously I wanted to do a two-part video because I wanted to give uh, both standout specialties a huge shout out for hooking me up on this and uh, obviously I wanted to uh, get the wheels on because I think it kind of looks somewhat cool. Andy's laughing at me. I've only made nine turns so far. <laughs> I <don't> fucking believe it. <laughs> but I love it. All right, I'm out of here. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it. One more backup. We're good. Oh, there we go. Now we're good. Now we can get out of here. All right. As always, huge shout out to Andy Diablo Formula Racing for uh, letting me use his shop because he's a little bit closer to standout specialties than my shop. And again, I just wanted to toss him on. So huge shout out to all those companies. I will pick back up somewhere. Oh, yes, boys and girls. I absolutely am excited for this build. I've never done a build this clean before. As you guys do know, I do typically buy a little bit of older and rusty vehicles. Um, this truck doesn't have much uh, rust on it or anything. I didn't really show it in the other video, but there like seems to be a little bit of bubbling here, which is common for this truck. And then back here, it looks like somebody did some uh, body work back here. So I'll go ahead and I'll probably have this done uh, by somebody that's a professional because I do plan on keeping this thing for a little bit. And uh, that's just not going to be good when we do what we need to do. But I can already tell also down in the comment section, you guys are going to absolutely love or hate this. And I'm okay with it. I'm willing to accept it. You guys all know that I got tough shoulders and broad shoulders and I can handle anything you guys throw at me. It doesn't usually bother me. Sometimes when I make the videos of it bothering me, it's just for the views so it is what it is i hope you guys are enjoying it um at this point the first thing we are going to do um which i actually have at the shop right now is a seven and a half inch lift kit from rough country so we do plan on lifting this thing seven and a half inches and the only downside is rough country doesn't actually offer a lift kit for the denali um, as you guys i don't know if you do know or don't know this thing is all-wheel drive versus the suburbans and the yukons or push button four-wheel drive so Basically, long story short, I have to make this kit work on here and I'm going to share with you guys the journey and I hope you guys are ready. So again, seven inch lift coming very, very soon. I think we're gonna keep it there. I don't think we're gonna go any more crazy like my other Yukon or anything because again, I do wanna keep this thing as a driver. Uh, the wheels and tires are hostile wheels. Uh, the tires measure out to be about a 35 inch tall tire. These are 14 wides, which as you do know, my other Yukon has 14 wides on it as well. But I, I think I'm gonna keep it with more of a highway tread on this one because this one's never really gonna see off road. This thing's just gonna be basically for the family. I know the other one was a family vehicle too, but I'll probably end up selling that one very soon because obviously I don't really need two Yukons um, that basically sort of the same look, just newer and older. But again, huge shout out to Rough Country, huge shout out to Standout Specialties, huge shout out to uh, Andy Diablo Formula Racing. And uh, I hope you guys are ready for the cleanest build I've yet to build, minus the limo. The limo is gonna be another clean build and they should be wrapped up here rather quickly. And then we're gonna focus on one build at a time. I promise you guys, I know I've said I'm going to change this thing. This is actually the time to make the changes. I'm gonna have very, very clean builds and one build at a time. Um, I think I'm actually going to kick off the GTA, but don't quote me that. I know I've said it a million times, but I'm ready to destroy this thing. I hope you guys are ready too. comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in an upcoming video. Take care. See you in the next one.